Hello everybody, Chef Bob here and today I'm going to show you how to make a real simple basic pizza dough recipe. This is sort of a, a pizza dough when you come home and you're in a hurry to make some pizza and you don't have any dough ready. This will be quick, easy and simple to do. So uh, we're going to start with approximately I have four cups of flour in here. I'm planning on using only three and as you'll see whenever you're making dough it depends on the humidity of the uh, your cooking environment and also where your flour was stored as far as the water content. So we have four cups of flour. I hope to use about three. I have one and a half cups of water and then I have some salt, sugar, and yeast. So I'm going to use a KitchenAid mixer to mix this and what we want to do is we're going to start by pouring approximately uh, one cup of the one and a half cups of water. Now I put this in the microwave for one minute. One minute gets you to about the ideal temperature for your yeast. You want it to be no more than 120 degrees. So we're going to pour approximately one cup or so of our water into the mixing bowl. And into the remainder of the water, we're going to add two teaspoons of instant yeast. We're also going to add one teaspoon of sugar. Okay. Now we're going to leave this rest. To our water, we're going to add approximately one and a half cups of our flour. This is a half cup measure. So I have approximately one and a half cups and I'm going to use the mixing beater, the mixing blade on our KitchenAid. While that's mixing, I'm going to whisk the yeast and the sugar and the warm water. Okay. Now the reason you do this is you want the flour to absorb some of the water. That will help produce a better pizza dough. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait about a minute or two until this yeast starts to get active. At that point, we're going to add that to our a flour and water mixture and then we'll add the remaining amount of flour and some salt and oil. We'll be back in about another uh, two to three minutes. Okay it's been about a minute or two and as you can see the yeast is starting to foam with our yeast and sugar mixture. So now what we're going to do is add that to our flour and water which was already sitting here. And to that I'm going to add another approximately another cup of flour right away we're going to mix that in and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the dough hook So I'll just scrape all this off the mixer blade. Okay. It's pretty good. And now put the dough hook on here. And what we want to do is you need to be careful not to make your dough too dry and that's easy to do especially in a KitchenAid mixer. What you want it to do is you want it to clean from the sides of the bowl but not necessarily the bottom. If it cleans completely from the bottom it means your dough is a little too dry. So now I'm going to keep adding flour until it cleans from the sides of the bowl but not the bottom. And it should take approximately three cups of flour. It's almost there.
I'm just going to add a little bit more. I think that should do it. At this point, I'm going to add our salt. Now, I don't add the salt right away because salt uh, reduces the activity of the yeast. So I like to add salt at the very end. And I'm also going to add at this point uh, approximately two tablespoons of olive oil. And again, I like to add it at the end because this will also inhibit some of the yeast activity. So now that we have it mixed to the right consistency, we're going to let the KitchenAid mixer knead it. So I'm going, to, I'm going to time it and leave it kneaded for approximately five minutes. So we'll be back when it's finished kneading. Okay, our dough's been kneading for about five minutes in the KitchenAid. I've just shut it off. And now let's take it out. And before I do that, I'm going to put some oil into a container so we can have the dough rest inside of here. I'm going to oil it so it doesn't stick uh, real bad. Just, just some olive oil, additional olive oil. Just coat it all to prevent sticking. It's a nice light coat of oil. Okay, now. Yeah, this is perfect. It's nice and soft. Slightly sticky, but not overly sticky. So I'm just going to knead it a little bit like this. See it's forming a nice dough ball. So now what we'll do is we'll put this cover on it and we'll leave it rest for about an hour. When it comes out we'll put it into our pan and make a pizza. It's that simple. Okay, everybody, we're back. The dough's been resting for about, oh, say 45 minutes. It's been, uh, it's pretty fast acting. So let's take it out and form our pizza. As you can see, it looks wonderful. Nice, soft, pliable. So what I'm going to do is today I'm going to use a pizza screen and bake it in a standard uh, oven. There. Let's see how nice this turned out. And it was in there for about 45 minutes or so. Now, what I'm going to do is, it's a 12-inch pizza screen, so I'm just going to stretch it a little bit by hand. If you want to, you can do it by hand. Uh, you can roll, twirl it in the air if you're good at that. You can use a rolling pin, uh, whatever method you prefer. I'm just sort of getting it in a little bit of the rough shape now. It's a little sticky here. Let me, here. It's going to be easier if I put it down here. Let me put some flour on my mat. Okay. Okay. Now, what happens is this is going to make a, a medium to semi-thick crust. If you'd like to, you can cut this in half and make two thin crust pizzas. This is going to be a slightly thicker crust, or a medium, medium, uh, medium to thick, depending what part of the country you're from. Be, determine how how thick this would be to you. If you prefer a thin crust, then definitely cut this recipe in half. As you can see, this is a 14-inch outer circle on my mat, and I'm just trying to get it evenly distributed. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm trying to get it all an even consistency and thickness. It's pretty easy to work with. I really don't need a rolling pin, but again, if you want to, you can get a rolling pin and just, you know, even it out. You could easily make a nice 18 inch pizza with this without a problem with this amount of dough. You see. Yeah. So what I have here is this is a 12 inch screen and when I pick it up it's going to shrink back and you'll see.
make a nice little crust. this way a little so now what we're going to do is we're going to leave this set while our oven preheats I have it set to about 450 so we're just going to leave this rest for say 10 minutes or so till the oven preheats and then um, we'll put it in the oven we'll put sauce our toppings and make a pizza out of that but I think I'll put that in a separate video so right now I just want to show you how easy it was to make a simple and easy pizza dough recipe. Again, as you can see, this is quite a bit of dough for one 12 inch pizza, but it's gonna puff up and make a nice, uh, you know, thick crust, a good medium, extra, you know, medium to thick. You could easily cut this in half and make two, a thin crust. It took about, what, uh, 10 minutes of prep time and about 45 minutes of rise time, and you're good to go. So what I would do is I'd put this in a 450 degree oven with your choice of sauce and toppings and bake it for approximately 15 minutes or until golden brown. So I hope you uh, try this pizza dough recipe at home. And if you enjoyed watching this video and would like to see more dough recipes using whole wheat crust and other types of flour and artesian recipes, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching. It's a nice crust.